Hi, I'm back with a quick SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about a very useful option in linear pattern feature which is various sketch. Using this option helps you to do linear pattern while you have various sketch for each duplicated pattern like this. Uh, you can see that uh, SOLIDWORKS has pattern this cut extrude for me uh, but the shape of each cut extrude is changing but relative to this edge okay let's do this step by step for the sketch of my cut extrude I have fully defined the sketch with uh, several dimensions and this one uh, is the most important one because it keeps the limited distance uh, so the length of this uh, horizontal line keeps the same uh, but the length of uh, my height or my vertical line changes with the next uh, pattern item now for the line uh, linear pattern let me delete this one I go to linear pattern and First, I need to select my uh, feature, which is my cut extrude. And for the direction, if I select this uh, line, uh, you can see that uh, this is like the normal uh, linear pattern. Uh, let me change the values here. You can see it's, it's a normal linear pattern. Uh, and in the options, I have various sketch, but it's not activated. To solve this problem, select one of your horizontal dimensions instead of uh, uh, instead of this uh, horizontal edge or horizontal line. I select this seven millimeters. Now, if I go back to options, you can see that I can select various sketch, and now my, the various sketch is activated. Here I did the same thing, let's uh, take a look at this sketch. I've made these uh, two arcs with uh, offset and I have already I, ha I already have a dimension here, 5 millimeters, which is the offset from these two edges. And uh, I have uh, 10 millimeters here, but I don't add dimension to this vertical line because I want this to change in my linear pattern. Uh, let me close this sketch for the linear pattern I use the same trick and uh, I've selected this dimension instead of a, a horizontal line uh, I have my cut extrude here and vary sketch or in this case you might uh, think that I've used a circular pattern but I've uh, used the various sketch to have multiple circles Let, let's take a look at this sketch you can see that I've made a center line here and I gave it a dimension which is my, the radius of my circle and the direction of my linear pattern okay uh, let me close the sketch and let's do this linear pattern again uh, for the feature I have this pass extrude here and for the dimension for the direction I have this uh, 15 millimeters uh, which is my horizontal uh, dimension and I can change the values here and you can see that various sketch has already activated from the previous uh, linear pattern. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.